my wife Christine and I developed the, the holotropic breathwork when we were living at Esselen, where we did not have, uh, you know, the framework, legal framework to use uh, psychedelics. And uh, we were doing uh, workshops when, uh, where we were talking about uh, what happens uh, with psychedelics. Uh, and um, people, can we have some experiences? And so um, I remembered uh, that when I was working uh, way back in Prague, when I was working uh, with LSD, that there were several instances where people were coming down from, a, from an LSD session and they didn't feel well resolved. You know, they feel, felt angry, they had certain pains in the body or felt nausea and so on. And in a couple of these instances, they asked me to uh, do some kind of physical intervention the first uh, situation was a man who was coming down from the session. The pharmacological effect was wearing off, and he felt still very charged, very angry, and had a pain in the shoulder. And he asked me to put some pressure there. And so I started massaging it, and he started sort of uh, uh, making sounds and, and uh, coughing and, and growling. And we did this for a while, and he felt relaxed in uh, the session had a really good closure. Uh, another situation was when we did the same with uh, nausea and a projectile vomiting just uh, brought the person to a completely different level. And so I started doing it systematically when people were coming down from psychedelic sessions uh, unresolved, that I would ask them what's happening in their body and uh, we would do this kind of body work. And then again it happened that uh, um, in, in several instances, this bodywork started triggering kind of very fast breathing, spontaneous breathing in people, uh, kind of saccadic uh, breathing. And uh, they told me that that brought them back into the experience. The, the eff effects of the drug were wearing off, but the breathing sort of brought them back. So I knew that there was some way of, uh, you know, working with the breath that can help to bring unconscious material to the surface. So at SLN, when we couldn't uh, use psychedelics anymore, uh, I started experimenting with this just with breathing and, uh, and uh, music. And then uh, there was a situation where um, we had a workshop, I think maybe 40, over 40 people coming. And people come to SLN from Europe, from Australia, from South America. Um, and I was working in the garden, lifting some heavy beam, and I threw off my back. And it's really, really in agony. And I couldn't imagine doing any kind of body work with, uh, with people. You know, it's just I, I uh, couldn't even sort of uh, move. Uh, so we were thinking, what, what can we do? We cannot send people home. Uh, so we came up with the uh, idea to let them breathe with each other. They paired, paired them up and just walk around and tell them what to, what to do, because the principles were fairly, uh, fairly simple. And the session was such a, such a success that we never did it differently. So when we work with uh, people using psychedelic, using uh, holotropic breathwork, uh, we just uh, pair them up, half of the people are breathing, we play a powerful music, and uh, everybody has a sitter, just a person who uh, can, uh, can uh, help with some of the very simple situations, like when people are moving into somebody else's place or when the sitter needs uh, a drink of water or a blanket and so on. And then we have uh, uh, trained people who are there for the whole group, who go where some really special attention is necessary. So it's a, it's a certain sort of outgrowth of the of the psychedelic work and based on observations